Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have a fun little technique that I want to share with you that will change the entire look of your stamped images. Plus, I'm going to be sharing the new 2024-2026 in-color collection from Stampin' Up! Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have a fun little paper piecing technique that I want to share with you. So this enables you to just change the look of your images by adding some designer paper, just kind of piecing that designer paper in there. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique, and you can do this with any pattern paper or supplies that you have on hand. Now the cards in this video feature a brand new bundle of products called Country Flowers, and this particular bundle includes a stamp set and a coordinating die set. And I am featuring the cards today in all five of the brand new in colors from the in color collection. So the in colors include Shy Shamrock, Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, and Peach Pie. So if you are loving these new in colors, then I would recommend that you check out my brand new card making club featuring all five of these in colors. You can get all the details on my in color card making club by clicking on the link featured in the description below this video. All right, so let me show you how to do this little technique and I'll walk you through how I made one of these cards. Okay, so this is the card we're going to create and actually it's the exact same layout for all five cards. I just used different images for some of the cards, so I'll show you that. But uh, the basic concept that I want you to focus on is the paper piecing that we're going to do right here with this little picture. So basically what we're going to start with is a piece of designer paper, and you can use any pattern. I could have used this pattern, but I'm going to focus on this side of the designer paper. So you need just a little piece. This is only one and a half inches wide. You just need it large enough to stamp this image right on the paper. So the first thing I did is I stamped the image on a scrap piece of white cardstock using early espresso ink. Then I just used one of the dies from the country flower set and I just cut that out with my embossing machine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some early espresso ink and we are going to stamp this image directly on our designer paper. So I'm going to use the same ink that I used to stamp the one on white cardstock. And we'll just stamp this right in the middle. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just cut out this middle section because I want the designer paper to be in the middle of my little picture here. So basically what you're going to do is just use the scissors. You do not want to use the die. So you do have to cut with your scissors, but you just want to cut on the line. So if you cut on the line and I'm just going to cut off the handle and I'm going to cut off the, the little spout there. But if you cut on the line, then when we go to line this up on our white cardstock, it'll match up perfectly. So you'll see what you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So I'm just going to cut this out. And then we'll just snip this off. So before I adhere this, I am going to use one of the new stamping blends. So this is Petunia Pop. That's the color that I'm using for this particular card. And so I'm just going to add some color over here to the spout. And don't worry about getting it on the inside because we're going to cover that up. And then I'm just going to add some to the handle. So I'm just using the light shade. There's a light and a dark shade, so I just use the light shade. And now I'm going to add this little piece to the center of my little picture here. So just add some glue to the back and then just line it up with the image that you stamped on the white cardstock. So by cutting directly on the lines, it enables you to have a nice little outline 
for your pattern paper. So that's really all there is to it for paper piecing. So let's put together the card. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of white cardstock, which is just a standard card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half when closed. And then I cut a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock and I embossed it with this brand new eyelet embossing folder. It's a beautiful embossing folder. You can use any embossing folder that you want to create your background. Then we'll just move this out of the way for the moment. The next thing I did is I cut a two and three quarter by three and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. And I just added a little strip of the Petunia Pop cardstock on the bottom. So this is just a half inch by two and three quarter inch piece. So we'll just add that little bit of color here on the bottom. The next thing I did is just stamp a little greeting. This is a half inch wide by two and three quarter inches long. And I'm just going to pop this up over the top of the the little color that I added to the bottom. And now we just need to add our pieces. So I added some dimensionals behind this little pot and we will pop that up. And then I also colored the flowers using all five of the in colors. Well, actually I used four of them on this particular one, but I added um, some dimensionals to the back. We'll add a little bit of glue here and then we'll just pop this up right on the top. So it creates just a really beautiful focal point. And I just love the paper piecing. It adds a lot. Instead of just coloring this all one color, we're able to just add a little bit of design in there. So super fun. Then just add a couple dimensionals on the back and pop this up right in the center of your card. Then for the finishing touch, you can just add some little gems up here. These are some of the new in color gems. And that is it. So then you have a beautiful, very simple card. So let me show you all the cards that I created. I created five, basically the using the same focal point. I just changed out the colors. So this one is the Petunia Pop that I just showed you how to create. Then I have the peach pie. So the peach is right here. And then this one is the shy shamrock. So I decided to use just a different image, but the concept is the same for doing this paper piecing on that little pot. Then here's the pretty in pink. And then here is the summer splash. Okay, so there you go. Now you have five different card ideas featuring all five of the in colors, but you have a fun little paper piecing technique that you can really use with any supplies that you have on hand. And if you enjoy these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.